Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen, and today's workout is going to be a compound strength and conditioning session. So here's the format. I'm gonna give you a good, hearty compound exercise. It'll be 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest. Then we'll move right into our conditioning set. Only 30 seconds, so work really hard. I'll do high impact, but feel free to do the low impact variation if you need. Then 15 seconds rest, and we're back into a compound exercise. Okay, I've got nine compound exercises with that conditioning in between and we'll repeat each round three times. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today and here are the ones that I have used. Lift within your own abilities of course and I'll start you with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. All right, don't forget to check out our programs. We've got lots if you want some structure, follow along workout schedules for men and women. Click or tap the card at the top of the screen or check in the description below. Are you ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. Let's put high intensity intervals on the watch and warm things up. I'm gonna start wide. We're gonna start with a side to side. I'm gonna take it down to the ground, but you can stay up high. If you can't get down, I need to stretch my inner thighs out here, folks. <laughs> a big walk yesterday. My legs are a bit sore, but they'll loosen up, I'm sure, in a, in a moment. I'm looking forward to this workout. I did a little short on Instagram of all of the exercises, but I hadn't compiled it yet. So I don't know what's coming, just like you. <laughs> we'll see when we're in the middle of it. Okay, one more on this side. Good, stay wide. Let's round up through the back and hand to toe tap right here. Alternate. more here and into a static lunge little pelvic tilt and drop for 10 just warm up that hip flexor and quad a little glute activation here as well two more on this side and switch and drop Last one here. I'm gonna face my wall, flex my foot, and do a swing right here. You can hold on to something, or just stand and swing. Last one on this side, and switch, and 10 here. Some front kicks here. Ten more. And circles. Get that upper body warmed up here as well. Switch directions. And tap right here. Reach up. And right here to finish. Mm. 
Yeah, ready folks. There's the first few exercises. We're starting with that dumbbell tap hip hinge. All right, here we go. Round one, I'll start with my 15. Okay, nice wide stance. You're gonna tap in front, swing right there, and set it back down and tap. All right, shoulders back, here we go. So we swing, pop the hips, and reach. That's it, swing and tap. You can, of course, eliminate the tap and just give me that hip hinge, dumbbell swing if you wish. That's okay. This is a little different. Keep your back flat, stick your chest out. Really work to pop your hips right there. I'll set that down right here. Moving into our conditioning. In between, if you don't need the break, you're here. I'm gonna go into some high knees. Okay, modify low impact right here. Get ready and work. I'm gonna stick with that 15. Onto the back, single arm press with your leg lift right here. I'll call half and we will switch sides. Here we go and we lift, good. Your other hand can support your head. Okay, keep that elbow wide, press, that's it. Of course, you could eliminate the leg if you need. Three, two, one, and switch your hand and leg. Here we go, and up. Good. Up for your conditioning. And we'll go into butt kicks. What did I get here already? All right, you're here. Nice rapid fire, that'll be low impact. Here if you don't need the break. Let's work. Let's go. into your hinge, lunge, and press. I'll hold a 15 again. It's your hip hinge, and then you're gonna press at the bottom. All right, control the abs, contract the abs rather. Let's work. Hip hinge, drop, press. I'll call half and then we'll switch sides. Nice and tall on your press. Reach your hips back. Okay, last one on this side. Good, switch hands. Hip hinge, lunge, press at the bottom. Let's set that weight down in two ice skaters. Low impact will be here. Okay, nice little tap. Otherwise, let's fire things up. Hinge and work.
Okay, push up rotation, I'll hold 12s. You can push up with your hands on the floor instead of on the dumbbells. Alternate, all right, here we go. Push up here, reach and press. Back to push up, other side press. Don't over rotate. Okay, I'm just gonna leave one dumbbell there. For toe taps, I'm switching here. You of course could do it without a dumbbell if you feel safer. Or here for low impact. And work. into your lunge hinge pattern. All right, I'll hold 15s. Lunge, hinge, row. I'll call halfway, we'll switch legs. So you'll lunge, hinge, row. Lunge, hinge, row. Stick your chest out on the row. Switch legs. Good, into your squat, sumo squat hop here for low impact. Just tap that toe. Wide stance, jump in the center. Start with the jump, you're here. Toe tap, jump, other side tap. into your alternating clean and snatch. I've got my 20. Wide stance, dumbbell stays on the floor in between. Here we go. Snatch, place it on the ground and switch hands. You really have to have good hip flexibility squat low enough with a nice flat back. Climb the ladder. You're here, low impact. Otherwise, we run.
I'm holding 12s. For my tricep extension, flutter. Eliminate legs if you need. Palms face, just bending at the elbow and flutter here. Slow and controlled. Don't rush this. Getting back up, you've got your three hop frog squat. You'll do three knees, boom, 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 into that squat for low impact. Otherwise, three hops here, one, two, three, and drop. One, two, three, and drop. Really wide stance, okay? So you can touch the ground if you can. Keep your back up, keep your chin up. Good, let's go into your Turkish get up. I'm gonna use my 12, I'll call half. We'll only get a few in. You can come up to here for a partial, okay? Right here, otherwise, and we push, leg goes behind, stand. Good, bring back the knee, drop the hand, sweep the leg. Lie down all the way, again, up. Tuck the knee, push. Tuck the knee, hand, and sweep all the way down. Now switch your side. Push, tuck, press, knee, hand, and sweep. Love this exercise so much. So good, total body exercise here. All right into your cardio. We'll go into those cardio kicks. All right, modify here, or modify with a hop in between. I'm gonna do the full thing. Get ready. Work here and here, nice and quick. Finishing with our squat iron cross. I'll hold eights. Ceiling, side, center, down. All right. Stay tall, feet shoulder width. Squat here, ceiling, side, center, down. One more cardio, and then we'll have a water rest. Good, moving into your snowboarder. Three hop, snowboard, you can walk it instead if you wish. I'm jumping, now three hops. One, two, three, and hop. One, two, three, and jump.
Very good. Okay, we're back to the top. Think about what weight amount you want to use. You can make it a little heavier if you wish, lighter, but we're working. Draw me back. All right. I'm going to my 20 for this one. This is your dumbbell tap swing. Okay, using that hip hinge, holding a 20 wider stance. Let's work, here we go. Tap, hinge, pop. Good, tap, hinge, pop. Keep your back flat. into cardio. I'm gonna do different cardio. I didn't write this down, so some might be the same, some might be different. Double knee right here. All right. Jump it up if you can. One, two, switch, one, two. Switching to my 20 for my press leg raise here, leg lift. Okay, I'll call half. You got your opposite hand and leg. Get ready. And we press. All right, control. The press should be over the chest area. Three, two, one, switch hands and legs. All right, remember you can support your head with your other hand. That's what I'm doing. Don't pull the neck up though, you're just gently supporting. Nice. Let's go into that broad jump. Three jack back, sorry that was loud. You can do a giant step. Three taps, two, three if you wish. Here we go. Jump, and three, two, one. Okay, good. Push up rotation, I'll take those 12s again. Remember not to over rotate here. Push up from the knees if you wish. Nice, move those out of the way. <sighs> and into your duck under, cross body punch. Right there for a low impact. I'm hopping, wide stance. Ugh. <sighs> 
Yikes, that one was hard. Lunge, hinge, row. I'll hold 15s. I'll call half on the leg. All right, shoulders back. And we lunge, forward hinge, row. Good. Lunge, hinge, row. Switch legs. Make sure you have a flat back on that row. Let's go into our in and out fast feet. Nice and quick. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Slow the pace if you need. One, two, one, two. Yikes. You've got your squat, snatch. So we're gonna squat, switch hands, snatch and press. Here we go. Set it down, switch. Remember to drop low in the squat. I've got my 20. Okay, cardio. Let's go into our double butt kick. One, two, one, two. I need a little breather. Two and two. Here we go. And one, two, switch, switch. Tricep extension, flutter kick. Okay, I've got my 12s. It's gonna be whatever you can do the extension. Eliminate legs if you need. And we're slow. It's adding up. It's adding up, folks. Okay, good. Conditioning. Let's go into our frog squat, alternating sides right here. All right, drop low in those glutes. You're here. Switch, drop low, work hard.
Turkish get up. I love this guy. All right, remember that partial. Your arm is completely straight. Same knee, same side. You push to seated. Otherwise, follow me. Up. Sweep the leg behind to knee. Push straight up. Knee, hand. Sweep. One more time on this side. Switching hands, legs, and work. I feel better on this side. And it's not my dominant side, it's weird. <laughs> good, good. All right, cardio. We're doing elbow to knee. You're here, here. Low impact. Ready, and boom, boom. Let's go. Finishing this circuit with that squat iron cross. I'll stick with eights. Ceiling, side, center, and down. Stick your chest out. Squat, ceiling, side, center, down. Okay, one more cardio here. I'm gonna go into that traveling scissor side to side. Quick taps right here for low. Arms are in if you wish. Here we go. And you're here. You could stay in one spot, of course, if you like. There's that round. Grab a drink, you've deserved it. Pause if you need a longer set. You've got one more circuit. I'm not not sweaty, I'll tell you that. Back to my 20 for your hip hinge tap, dumbbell tap, swing. <laughs> Stratton's gonna be like, what's this called as he's editing? Sorry, Strat. here we go. All right, tap it, hinge, swing. That's what it's called, tap, Hinge, swing. <laughs> oh, poor child. My editor is my son. <laughs> He's great, but I just make it challenging sometimes. Gotta keep them on their toes, don't we? Right, cardio, let's do our three knee repeater. One, two, three, and switch. All right, get ready. Kick this up, and three, two, one, and switch.
holding the 20 for my press leg lift. I'll call half again. I really like this one. This is a new one for me. All right, get ready. And, whoops, what am I doing? One more on this side and switch arms and legs and reach. Try not to rock your body, okay? You're gonna counterbalance there as the weight comes down. Keep your shoulder blades on the ground. Good. Into cardio. Okay, traveling butt kicks. Four forward, four back, but you can stay in one spot here. You don't have to travel. Otherwise, here we go. Four, three, two, one. I'm back for four, three, two, one. into your hinge, lunge, press. I forgot that last round. I did, I'm sorry. Darn, I like this one too. Here we go, we're gonna hinge first. And hinge, lunge and press. Good, same side, I'll call half. Last one on this side. Switch arms and legs. Into cardio. Squat jumps, all right, squat, nice shallow squat, stay low, rapid fire if you're not jumping. Otherwise, here we go, little jumps, jump right here. Push up rotation with my 12s. Mod from the knees, I think I'm doing that this round. But plank to uh, push, plank up to the toes to hit that rotation. Okay, cross in front, jack. Low impact will be here. Tap right there. I'm gonna hop it. Get ready, hands up. And we tap and tap.
into that lunge hinge row. I'll hold 15s. I'll call half. Start with your lunge. Drop, hinge, back flat to row. Lunge, hinge, then a row. Great, switching legs. <sighs> One, two, three, hop. All right, grapevine, knee for low impact. Otherwise, boom for high impact. Let's move quick and one, two, three, one, two, three. That's it, let's move. Condition that heart. Squat, switch, press with my 20. Oh, mercy. We're working today, folks. Wide stance. Press, put it down and switch. Power skip, okay, that here for low impact. I'm gonna hit it nice and hard. Power up that knee, move quick. Flutter kick with that tricep extension, holding 12s. This is so good, love it. Get ready, and. We'll go into burpees. You can just do jumping jacks if you don't fancy the burpee. I'll just use these dumbbells as my handles to protect my wrists. Jump at the top. Here we go. Core engaged as you jump that out. Ah. 
Okay, Turkish. To a leg, to a side. Mercy. I'm gonna start with the other side, my good side, and work. So we sit, we sweep, we stand. Whew. Kneel, reach, and sweep. Don't drop that arm. All right, now you can switch halfway. <laughs> I'm quitting on that one. Okay, cardio. You got your two jack front squat. Boom, boom. Squat right there. Just a few more folks, we're almost there. Stay with me. One, two, to the front and back. One, two. Squat iron cross. I'll stick with eights. Ceiling, side, center, down. You gotta fight for what you want now and stay in the pocket. Don't give up, don't get lazy. You've got this, you are so close. I want you to stay strong in your core, in those arms. Stick your chest up, stick your butt out. Do the exercise properly. <laughs> I just messed up because I was talking. Okay, come on, we've got this. Okay, last cardio, everyone. In and out squat jumps. You can narrow wide squat for low impact. Okay, I'm gonna try and jump the whole 30. Let's work, you're here, here. Stay with me. Halfway, work, stay low, let's go. You can do hard things. And this is getting up there for me. Go, go, five seconds in three, two, one, and done. You move daily, whoo. Walk it out, folks, in your compound strength, no repeat conditioning, so fun. Love the exercises. It was thoroughly enjoyable. Thank you, thank you. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed today's workout, okay? Bring your heart rate down. Just keep walking it out. Maybe put your weights away, pause, and then join me for a stretch if you can. Okay, folks, bring her down to the ground. Oh my goodness, I feel so happy about that workout right now. Let those legs fall to one side. Keep your shoulders on the ground. I am a sweaty mess, I tell ya. I just uh, popped onto Instagram in between the end of the workout and here just to announce it and <laughs> I had to redo it because I was dripping sweat on my screen. <laughs> yes, she sweats. All right, switch the legs to the other side. I know some of you think I don't sweat. <laughs> That is false, I do. Uh, I also know that some of you wonder why I exercise with my hair down. Uh, that was actually a question that I was asked on our podcast, which was funny to me. Um, you know I have hair extensions and have for many, many years. Do you know that? <laughs> I do, and um, the reason is because my hair is very, very thin and it's, 
I don't know. It's one of those genetic things. My daughter has a hair issue. My sister does as well. So what are you going to do? I, you can be okay with it and have short hair, but I want long hair like other people get an opportunity to have. <laughs> so, so I do, and it doesn't feel great when I pull them back. So there you go, if you ever wondered. And plus, often after a workout like this, I'll go do a coaching call. Like often at noon, I'll do a coaching call. And if my hair's in a ponytail, with the extensions and the thinness of my other hair, um, it feels like, let's hug those knees, that everything just leaves a big ponytail line. And I don't want that. <laughs> so <laughs> I know you probably don't care, but some people do. And there's the answer right there. Let's cross at the knee. You're gonna go right into this nice deep glute stretch. Try to draw those ankles toward you. I need this. I've had a little bit of inner thigh issues. Someone also asked over on our Move Daily Hustle Facebook group, which everyone is welcome to join. It's our public group. Why have you not been doing so much cardio lately, Tracy? And a couple reasons for that. Number one, it's summer right now and I want to do everything outside that I can. I love it out there. My days are long. My work days are about 12, 13, 14 hours. And I just want to be outside. I don't want to be down here in this gym. <laughs> so if I can do cardio down outside, that's what I'm doing. And I've been playing lots of pickleball and lots of hiking and walking. So that's uh, done outside and biking all of the time too. But plus, I am heading to Europe in a, about a month from this time. And actually going to meet our Move Daily coach, Kim, for the first time. She works for me. So excited about that. Um, gonna meet up with some members, I'm going to Dublin. I'm gonna see one of my members, Jilly, over there. So I'm excited about that. Uh, anyway, what's my point? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be walking a lot. And right now, after my one hike that I did uh, this summer, I actually got a little bit of plantar fasciitis in my one foot. And so I've, I've been babying it, you know, like I've been doing a lot more cycling because it's sore. The jumping and hopping obviously can make it a little bit more sore. So I'm like, oh, I've got to be a little bit cautious uh, of doing too much because I'm going to have to be walking for a couple of weeks straight. And I, I don't want to be in pain when I'm walking, that's for sure. So <laughs> all of that to say, what? Probably things that you don't care about, but... <laughs> Here I am, chatting it up. Uh, no, you know what? One of the things that I did learn post the plantar fasciitis is I had that guest on, Dr. Jen Perez. If you haven't seen her on the podcast, Move Daily Talks, she, she did such an amazing coaching call basically on how to take care of all those issues to prevent, to work with if you have, like bunions, plantar fasciitis, hammer toes, all of that. So I have been doing her protocols, doing my foot yoga, and trying to make sure that foot's ready to go for my walking adventure in Europe in October. Anyway, okay, so there we go. We covered hair, we covered feet, we covered trips, vacations. <laughs> you get the whole gambit here. All right, thanks for joining. I'll see you all in the next workout. Don't forget to smash the like button if you liked today's workout.